So in this lecture, we're going to talk about uh, solving difference equations. What we mean by that is taking a difference equation, an equation that's defined recursively, like uh, the savings account example we saw in the last lecture, and think about how we can write that in what's called an explicit formula. Right, so what we want to do is we want to go from this difference equation to, uh, better not use f again, right? Let's use a different, different function letter. We want to go from this difference equation to a sequence like the ones we talked about back at the beginning. Uh, of the of this chapter where the sequence is defined each term of the sequence is defined strictly in terms of n right strictly in terms of its position in the sequence so to do that let's take a look at our uh, savings account example here this is the difference equation we developed in the last lecture we have an initial investment of a thousand dollars that's a sub zero and when we saw that we could define this uh, recursively as a sub m plus 1 is equal to 1.03 times a sub m. So what I want to do is I want to get a formula for a sub n in terms of uh, n alone. So how can I do that? Well, here, here's where I'm going to start. I'm going to start by talking about a sub n, right, because that's the what we're looking for a formula for. So a sub n is 1.03 times a sub n minus 1, right? It's n plus 1 versus n. So it's always the previous term in the sequence. Okay. But what is a sub n minus 1? Well, a sub n minus 1 is uh, 1.03 times a sub n minus 2. Okay, well, good. Let's put that in here, right? Make this 1.03 times 1.03 a sub n minus 2. All right, and I can simplify this a little bit. 1.03 squared times a sub n minus 2. All right, well, that, I mean, that, that, that helped, right? That, that helped, but now let's do it again. a sub n minus 2 is 1.03 a sub n minus 3. All right, well, let's drop that in here. Then this becomes 1.03 squared times 1.03 a sub n minus 3, and we can simplify that to 1.03 cubed times a sub n minus 3. And I can keep doing this. Right? I can keep doing this. And eventually, I'm going to get to the end. Right, eventually, I'm going to get all the way down to something in terms of a sub 0, and that's the beginning, right? The, my, my chain ends there because I can't go any further back. And when I do, uh, you'll see this is going to be 1.03 to the n. And this is the formula I was looking for. Let me write it over again over here where we get a clean look at it. This is a sub n equals 1.03 to the n times a sub 0. And for, for our sequence, uh, we can be a little more specific. a sub 0 was 1,000, right? So a sub n is equal to 1,000 times 1.03 to the n. And that's what I was looking for, right? That is, that is my explicit formula for this sequence. Right? It's, it's defined a sub n in terms of nothing other than n, and that was my goal. And again, I, I said this back in the last lecture, if you're already familiar with compound interest and the compound interest formula, right, that is what we've ended up with here. So I, I've taken our, our previous discussion, and I, I've just generalized it. All right? So you see I've, I've replaced the 1.03 with a variable, all right. Other than that, this this is the same equation, and my conclusion is is that that if we have a difference equation of this form, then 
this relationship can be described explicitly with this formula a sub n is equal to a sub 0 that was our ten thousand dollars times k to the n so what I have here is the sequence that uh, that I presented way back in the very first lecture when we were talking about recurrence and now based on what we've been discussing in this lecture in the last one we can come up with uh, an explicit formula for this uh, almost trivially now remember what we saw right every term here is two times the previous one and that's exactly the kind of situation that we've been talking about uh, but the, the only little twist right is that the indexes don't start at zero and that's okay right we can fix that let's just temporarily renumber these starting at zero All right so if I do that then a sub zero is equal to three and k is equal to two so my formula is a sub n is equal to three times two to the n okay awesome but we have to fix the indexes right so you know my indexes the indexes that i'm using here are one less than each of the original indexes so what i'm going to do to fix this is i'm going to put n minus 1 in there for the exponent right and this should give us the actual original sequence and you can you can check this really quickly right a sub 1 is equal to 3 times 2 to the 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 is 0 2 to the 0 power is 1 so yes this equals 3 and we you know, check one more a sub 2 3 times 2 to the 2 minus 1. All right, 2 minus 1 is 1. 2 to the first power is 2. And 3 times 2 is 6. So good. It, it, it's working. I did adjust the indexes correctly. So in the next lecture, oh, we're going to look at another formula that we can use to model the growth of a population. Because there's kind of a little bit of an issue with this one. Right. So we'll talk about what that issue is. We'll look at uh, a modification to this formula. That's going to be may maybe a little more accurate. Uh, and we'll also talk about something called a numerical solution uh, to these kinds of difference equations.